as we all know, yesterday EA introduced the F2 2024 cars to the F1 24 game. So today I asked myself, what if I try and see which car is faster, the 2023 versus the 2024 version? So that is exactly what we are going to do here today. Um, I did a lap in each at uh, Qatar and then I did Adu Abu Dhabi, sorry. Um, as the circuits have quite different characteristics and I did notice certain characteristics um, are more towards a car. So what I noticed mainly, um, as you can see, is going through the lap and comparing sector times is that the 2023 car has a lot um, a lot, well, a lot more of a loose rear, and it's much easier to lose the rear under braking. Not really to rear lock, but to as soon as you basically turn in, uh, you lose the rear. So you kind of have to be a bit more careful with the aggressive turning um, compared to the 2024 car. But then through this section here, which is all flat out, the 2023 car is a lot faster, as you will see, or as you're about to see on the sector time so the 2023 car is a lot faster as you're about to see by the lap time i think it was nearly nine tenths but the 2024 car feels a lot nicer to actually drive um but that was my verdict on lazale so as you can see we've got nearly well nine tenths as i said quite a big margin um but yeah we're gonna head into abu dhabi see if it's the same with some more low speed corners uh so once again we've got the f2 2023 cars at the top the 2024 cars at the bottom and i have to admit the 2023 lap wasn't ideal i could definitely have gone faster um uh, but anyways we go through sectors well, sector one and what i also found out is you want to spend the least time turning possible i mean oh you always do but in f1 it doesn't make as big of a difference but in the f2 cars it really makes uh, quite a substantial uh, difference and you can get substantial amounts of time as you can see sector one was actually very very close just 3000 splitting the two laps i was gonna head down into turn to six i think i went a bit deep and you can see i had to counter steer on my f uh well 2023 lap sorry um so that was not an optimal run but i simply didn't have the time to really put in the perfect lap so you can see um at the end of sector two then we're two and a half tenths off in the middle sector with the 2023 uh, 2024 car sorry even though we hit the corner well turn six seven chicane better um so yeah that just shows how much time uh, we lose i think it's mainly through the hairpin and then through this last sector where the corners are as i said before the f uh, 2024 car feels nicer to drive but is quite a bit slower um as we're about to see now as we head around the last two corners and up to the line we're gonna set a well actually i think it was quite close because my lap was bad uh, and actually it's the opposite way around, oh, sorry, but sector three, we're actually faster in the 2023 car. So I think in high speed corners, uh, sorry, 2024 car, in high speed corners, we are faster uh, with the 2023 car, but in low speed and medium speed, I think the 2024 car has a chance to come close. So that is my verdict. Both are fun cars to drive. I would love to do a race, maybe a series later on in the game after league racing, but I hope you enjoyed this quick video and until next time, take care and goodbye.